Hi guys, my name is Lynette. Thanks for coming back if you're back and if you're new, I make videos on planning, budgeting, and some stuff about my life. I have two Instagrams, one is about curly hair and one is about planning if you wanna go follow me over there. And today's video is gonna be on different types of planners. I have a couple, not all of them of course, but I do have a couple that I could show you. And I thought it would be interesting because now for 2021, when 2022 starts, a lot of us are looking for what we're gonna use to plan the next year. Even me, you know, I have a, I have a whole new setup that I'm gonna do when this year is over. So I know that when you're new to planning, cause even me, when I started, there was so many stuff out there. I didn't know what, what was better for me, what will work the best. Cause everyone uses planners differently. Some people use them for personal life. You could use them for work, only work. You can have it just for your kids' appointments and activities. Um, you can have it for your pets. You can have it for money, budgeting. You can have it all in one planner. You can have it for like memory keeping. Like there's so many things. I've seen planners used for projects, like projects you wanna do during the year, goals, and people just divide it and, and plan it out like that. So I'm gonna show you the different types and what I'm using. So right now, let me take all of this out of here. And let me just show you what I'm using right now. So I'm using this one to budget. I'm using this happy planner for daily planning and I use this one as a wallet every day. So let's start with the happy planner. So I've used happy planner for around two or three years. I like happy planner. They're very colorful. They're affordable like this planner might have cost me maybe $15 they last a long time you see this I've had this I bought this in 2020 and I use it all 2021 you see it's almost done yeah I use it for daily I put all my appointments here birthdays my work schedule when I'm gonna go out I use it for all of that because I use my for my budget I use another planner I separate those two so let me just show you the happy planner has this these are metal, they could come a metal or plastic. Like, they're really good. And the way that this system works, I'm just gonna show you real quick. You could pull it out like that. I don't know if you can see like the slots, the way they look. And then when you're done writing or you wanna change stuff out, when you're done writing, you could just put it right back in. And Happy Planner is good because you could Organize it any way you want. I could put this page in the back. I could add things. You could buy this this special hole puncher in Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And any page you have, you could just cut these, these slots down and just put it in your happy planner. So let me just flip through it real quick. This is, um, like, like I said, I've, I was very colorful in this one. I love using colors and stickers. So this is going to be January, um, February month. March month, April, May, June. And what I did was after I finished the month, I would just go back and just add more stickers when I knew I didn't have to write any more things in the dates. July, that's why you see these big, really big stickers in the middle, but I will wait until the month was over. August, September, October, this is November, this is December, which is really clear because I want to see what else has to come up. Then when the month is over, I might add a stick over here, make it more, you know, just fill it up more because I have a bunch of stickers. Let me show you a weekly. All right, so this is a weekly vertical. What that means is this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the day goes down. What I do is I write anything important that day on the top. I do a to-do list of things I have to do that day, and I usually use the bottom for gratitude. I thank God for anything special that day that I'm, I'm grateful for. So that's how I use it. And I've used vertical for two years. I'm gonna change because I already got tired of writing down. But a lot of people like vertical. I'm um, happy planner also comes horizontal, and they also have like a dashboard layout, which is different. But I don't have those, so that's the happy planner. 
So like I told you, it's really easy just to change pages out. Like I can take, these are like notes pages and I just take them out and just put them right back in. They have a lot of accessories, so you could add any note pages you want. You can add stuff like this, like this is a, like a divider, it's hard plastic. I have a folder back here, same thing. You could just take it out just like that. I have little envelopes that I bought as well. So Happy Plan is cool because of all of this, all of the customizing you can do. So that's my Happy Planner. Let me show you the next one. Now for budgeting, I use this one. This is an Erin Condren Monthly Deluxe Planner. And they do a coil notebook like this. They do it for daily. They do it like vertical, like what I just showed you in the Happy Planner, but this is just a short version because I just use this for budgeting. So this one too, you could buy accessories for the coils and you could just pop them back in. It's not as easy as the Happy Planner, but it's, it's easy. So Erin Condren is more expensive than the Happy Planner. This planner might have cost me maybe, you see it's customized with my name. I think this one cost me $40, but you could customize it. Like you could have the coils any color you want. You could put whatever title you want in the beginning. You can have it colorful on the inside or just very neutral colors. I like colorful. So this is just my month for 2021. These are my paydays. So like I said, I use this for budgeting and I do a little bit of memory keeping. Let me show you a little bit. So this was January of 2020 when I started it. This is our New Year's and I can't show you too much because I already filled out all the numbers. Let me, I'll just show you this and just maybe blur out like what I, what I don't want anyone to see. So this is how I use it. I put in my bills when they're due. I just check them off when they're due. Um, I put my bank account summaries, credit scores. This is my budget all laid out, like income savings if I invest my fixed um, expenses, my debt, my variable. There's like a summary and these are some notes. So this is my transaction log and I write down all the transactions. Every time I waste money, I write it down. Then I color code it, depending if it was a restaurant, if it was personal, if it was um, um, clothing. So that's how I use this one. The paper is really nice. The quality is really nice too. You see this I've had for a year and it's, it's like the same. The paper, like when you write on it, I love it. So that's the Erin Condren. And all these stuff, they have a lot of stuff that you could order too. These are all accessories. Like these tabs I bought, Astra. I bought this Astra. These dividers you see in the beginning. I bought Astra. You can use dry erase markers with them. Let me see, it comes with a folder in the back. It comes with stickers, so I like Erin Condren, but I don't think I'm gonna be using it next year because I'm going with something else. So this is an, an A5 ring binder. This is Erin Condren. The color, this is vegan leather, and this color is blush. So I had bought this originally to use for 2022 as my daily planner, instead of using this, I was gonna use this. So let me just show you a little bit. But I changed my mind, like we all do. We're always changing our minds. I know you do it too. So let me just show you. This is a weekly layout. So if you remember, Happy Planner was going down. This one is going to the side. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the rim binders. They have rings. You can move the pages around as you want. You can add whatever you want. You could buy a hole puncher. I have a, let me show you real quick. So I have this one, it's cheap. I think this was like two or $3. 
I just line it up with whatever page I want and just punch the holes and I add whatever I want to this. So right now I'm using it for my social media planning because I do have two Instagrams and I started this YouTube channel and I'm very organized so I just, I, I couldn't have all that in my brain. I had to write it down somewhere and here I have, see maybe ideas for videos, some more ideas, my progress like collabs over here things i want to remember these are some collabs i have been doing yeah so um a rim binder is nice i like it a lot they are more expensive i think this one cost me maybe 70 to 80 dollars including all the inserts for the whole year 2022 i have them all in here so, but the good thing about the ring binder is that you can add whatever you want. You punch the holes in it, you just put it in. You want to take something out, you want to change it, you mess up a page, you could just get another one. So I like that. It's not like this, like this, this notebook. If I mess up a page, then I really got to get creative because I don't want to be ripping up pages here. Ring binders come in a lot of sizes. They come in A5, which is this one. They come in smaller, which is B6 or personal. And they come even smaller, which is A7. But I'm gonna show you first another A5. So this is the A5 I'm gonna use for 2022. And this is a Moterm A5. The letter is cream crack. You see I already started adding stuff. It has the rings exactly like the other one. Those pages fit perfectly here. And I could change these pages over there. So right now, I just have like notes pages in here. I'm waiting for all my stuff to come in. I ordered some from Coffin Paper from Etsy. And I think Piper Plans, I ordered some stickers. So I'm waiting for all that to come up so I can set this one up. And I'll show you. This ring binder, just the binder by itself cost $80 or 85 and so it's more expensive than the Erin Condren and everything else in the inside you buy separately so it can it can add up you know but this is leather this is gonna last a long time I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I have for next year so these are my 2022 inserts I already got them I bought some of these for the dividers, they're called vellums for 2022. I bought this for my budget. Because what I'm going to try to do next year is I'm going to have everything here. I'm going to have my daily, my budget. Instead of having two separate um, planners like I had before. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Here's some more stickers. Like I bought a bunch of nice stuff. I'm going to do a... A video on that haul but I'm waiting for one more thing so then I could do that video so yeah this is more expensive because look if you see these dividers I bought these separately I bought the label separate this paper I bought separate everything is separate so it adds up if you go really high class but you know it's gonna be worth it because you're gonna use it a whole year and this is good material so the last plan I'm gonna show you is the same as a ring binder but this is, remember I told you this came in many sizes. So this is A5 and this is A7. They call it a pocket planner too. So this is what I use now every day as a wallet. I have videos on the unboxing of these two and the flip through of this one. So let me just give you a quick flip. So the A7 has rings like this one, like the A5. You can move stuff around as you like, but it's the same as this. You, I only bought the, the planner, the binder, with nothing in the inside. That cost me 40 or 45. Everything else I bought separate. So I bought these separate. I just hung them here. They're two little charms. They're from Erin Condren. I bought these dividers separate and the labels. You see it says inbox, month, to-do list. I bought these card holders that you just stick on. I bought that separate. Of course, I bought the bowls separate. I bought these inserts separate. So these are just months on one page. Let me show you real quick. That's what they look like without um, any writing or any stickers. And that's how I plan my month. 
and let me see I bought these these vellum separate they have some sayings on them this one says to-do list this one says notes I bought this pocket separate this I got from Amazon so it's just like a pocket and I put um, transparent circle stickers there then it came with this pocket you could just to put money in there or whatever in the back since it's like a wallet you have a place for money and for receipts so this can come out expensive too let me show you so this is new that I got from Etsy for this planner and a couple other things let me show you something else I bought this vellum too from Etsy so what I'm gonna do is when I when I set it up I'm gonna measure with a page from here and I'll just punch the holes and I'll put it right in there. Isn't this pretty? It says my name, Lynette. I'll probably do a flip through again <clears throat> when I add the new stuff, probably for January. And that's that. So these are more expensive, but this is what I'm gonna be using next year. I like this, this look for next year. I'm gonna have two, like of the same leather, but different sizes, and I think it's gonna be cool. And well, that's my video on the different types of planners that I have. I guess it all depends on what you're going to be using your planners for and how much you want to waste. Like if you really don't want to waste a lot, you can go with Happy Planner, which is really nice. The paper is really good and they have a lot of different inserts that you could buy separately. So it can really, it can really fit what you need. And if you want to waste a little bit more, you could probably go into Moterm or there's Vander spec that you could customize your planner any way you want it and stuff like that so it really it's gonna depend what you need so i hope you like this video and i hope it helps you a little bit if you're looking through planners for 2022 i'm going to link some videos in the end of my planner lineups for 2021 2022 i do have to make new ones because i did order a bunch of stuff so i'm gonna have to add all that and that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.